So today we're going to be talking about outbound versus inbound leads. I'm joined with James. Do you want to kick it off with outbound leads? Yeah, so outbound leads is where you are proactively going out and cold emailing, mm -hmm. could be cold calling or like direct messaging on LinkedIn. Yeah. This, if you're doing it from your actual brand, it can you can end up getting quite a lot of one-star reviews. Yeah. So you need to be very, very careful with an outbound kind of lead generation strategy. It can work well. It's costly to try and get the data, especially nowadays with GDPR. Mm -hmm. um, and you can annoy a lot of people. It's like the, the old days of knocking on the door and saying, do you want double glazing? And you're telling them to get away. Um, mm -hmm. So the um, from it, it's not something that we look to do at all at Fat Rank. We've generally got an inbound lead generation model. I'm very much before an inbound lead generation model because they're going, the customers are going out of their way to search for products or services that you offer mm -hmm. and then they're inquiring with you. There's no hard sell, there's no trying to convert them and they're going, I, I don't even own a house, why are you trying to sell me double glazing window for? Do you know what I mean? So the inbound, in my opinion, versus the outbound lead generation model is just so much better. Do you want to expand a little bit more on what inbound lead generation is? Yeah, so inbound lead generation, um, you, you can do it on a variety of different platforms. Obviously, we'll, we'll start off with Facebook. Um, obviously, one thing that you just mentioned is um, I'm not even a house owner or I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the owner of this house while you're trying to sell me double glazing. One of the things straight off the bat that you can do is you can target people that actually own a house on, on Facebook ads. So already you're, you're, you're already that little bit more uh, better than, than, than outbound. So all the, but by the way, it probably sounds like we're hating on outbound lead generation. It, it definitely does work, but it's just a numbers game and yeah. there, there's just not enough hours for, for myself and James to start knocking on people's doors. Yeah. Um, so you've got Facebook ads. Um, the, the good thing about Facebook ads is a lot of people think it's interruptive marketing, but it's actually not. What Facebook have really done, or, or what they've excelled at in the past five years, is getting that pixel data really um, attuned. So, for example, if somebody goes in and searches um, conservatory installation company on Google, the next time they actually load up Facebook or Instagram, they're going to see conservatory in installation company ads. So you, you, you're, you're able to, to basically get so, some leads doing that way. And obviously they are inbound, they are in market. You then obviously have the PPC listings. So for anybody that's, that's never done PPC before, it's, it's kind of like the, the top two or the top three results on Google. Um, you do need to pay per click, hence why it's called PPC, for those listings. Um, in some industries, it can get very expensive, especially if you're in finance or law. Um, so just bear that in mind. You obviously do need to worry about like doing a negative keyword list. Um, you obviously also need to understand long tail keywords. So you're going after long tails as opposed to going after some really expensive um, short tail keywords. And then last but not least, you have got SEO. So you've got two parts to SEO. You've got like the Google uh, business profiles and that's mainly down to like your local area. So if somebody is in Manchester searching for um, lawyers in Manchester, if you've got like loads of reviews, if you've got loads of brand mentions, if you've got loads of directories, you do have a much higher chance of actually ranking for lawyers in Manchester when, when somebody searches for that. Then you also have got the organic um, page listings as well. Um, and that's mainly down to topical authority. So how many articles you have on your website talking about a certain product or service that you're actually um, providing and also the amount of backlinks that you also have as well. Some people also call it off-page SEO as well. So how much clout your website has across the entire web? Yeah, for sure. So if you are a business owner and you're actually looking for inbound or outbound lead generation, we hope you understand the differences there between the two. Personally, I think the main difference is for conversion rate. The conversion rate on inbound lead generation is just so much higher. At fatrank.com, we do an inbound lead generation service. If you head on over there, go through to the contact page. But we've got different models with regards to inbound lead generation. We've got a paper lead model and we've got a commission-based model. Both of them are inbound lead generation. Make sure you fill in the form and, and check that out. In our opinion, I don't know if you agree, but inbound marketing is just so much better than outbound lead generation.